If you do go on to enjoy today's video, please remember to hit that like button and of course subscribe for more content. And if you need any coins for Ultimate Team to get a head start on the game, head to the link in the description. Use the code TVM for a discount at checkout. What is going on guys, Divim here, welcome back to the FIFA Mobile Road to Glory. Thank you very much for the support on the, the first episode. I've got borders on this one. I don't know whether it looks better with borders or just with black. So feel free to let me know whether you don't mind a border but don't like the colour of this border or whether you just prefer it black top and bottom. I just think it looked a little bit like, I don't know, B-Tech I guess. So I thought, well, I'll just throw something on it. Maybe I need to put a little bit more effort. I'll tell you what, I will put more effort into the, the border. I've literally just taken the, the FIFA 21 border. Anyway, because it, it looks like I'm cutting off the screen. But it's just black where I've put the border. Anyway, uh, we're in Rivals right now. I am going to complete a lot of stuff in this video well i say a lot of stuff it took a long time to do we're talking hours but you won't i mean we've condensed it into like a nine minute video um joshua says please do more it's really cool i appreciate you and i i'd like to do more i mean it this series is going to be highly dependent on you guys watching and liking and commenting on the videos because with a FIFA 20 road to glory or player reviews it's just what I do if one of them doesn't get views doesn't mean I'm gonna stop it I'll continue it because eventually the odd video here or there will get views and sometimes the audience picks up and so on and so forth but because this is a technically speaking different game coming in to the channel it is FIFA but it's not at the same time it's gonna need a little bit more support because otherwise I don't know um, that's the last upgrade we're going to do. I've watched a few videos, got a few tips, and I shouldn't apparently be upgrading my players. I don't know when you should be upgrading your players, but apparently you should keep your XP. So what I need to do is get the skill boosts. We've just unlocked Seasons, which is something that I'm definitely going to take part in. But I think it's going to be something that I leave running in the background so the room i'm in right now that i record all my videos in my wi-fi is awful don't get it and i've only got so much data on my phone because i never really use my phone so i don't have unlimited plan or anything just got a wi-fi extender that should be arriving today and hopefully we'll have wi-fi in here so when i'm playing and recording fifa 21 i can leave the mobile on the side and just play season games because it'll auto play for you so long as you've got a higher rating than your opponent, I guess. And it's against the AI, so it's not like I'm cheating in any way. Um, yeah, I can just let it run. And we've got a higher overall, which means we should be winning the games. And then I can pick up coins and, and packs and things along the way. If it comes to a point where we're not good enough, I will need to jump in and play. We've picked up a, a James, which is a, a good addition to the right back. We have moved on to the Expert in Academy. I think it's called Expert. This is something that took ages to do, but you get an Odegaard at the end. You also get an elite player just before you get the Odegaard as well. A few coins and things and skill boosts and stuff along the way. As I mentioned, the video that I watched was telling me to just use all the skill boosts. Get all the skill boosts and use all the skill boosts to upgrade your team to make it so that you've got a high overall. So that when you go into the academy, again, you can let it run in the matches and you sh it should win for you if you don't want to sit there and play it all yourself now i was basically letting the ai defend and then i would attack if that makes sense it's kind of like fifa 21 really uh henry says the king has returned i remember you um i remember was in your league last time you played i'm happy to see you uploading this game again please continue to make videos for this keep up the great work we will have a league uh on this as well i've just unlocked it as you can see right there it's not quite there bottom middle but we we have unlocked it it is called sheep conference i don't know if you can just search conferences in like league conference but sheep conference that's all it's called so feel free to search it up i don't think there's a link i can give you and i don't think there's like a code or anything it is um application only so i would assume that the people who are going to apply for it are going to be you guys i didn't want to leave it open so people could just join randomly but if you guys want in then just search up sheep conference and yeah uh, please make sure that you're active because I think we, we need, I, as far as my memory serves, now if it's changed, then obviously I'm going to get it wrong. But back when it was, uh, what, I can't remember what, like the first ever season, I guess it was, um, you used to have to, we, we'd go into a game, there'd be 30 of us, I think, and we would have to play against another 
team. And then obviously the higher rated teams, please pick the higher rated team so that the lower rated teams get a fair shout against the lower rated. I think that's the way it works. Maybe it's different now, but either way, you do join, make sure you're active and you log in as often as you can. And if there's games to be played, play them. I will log in as often as I can and I will start leagues and so on and so forth. And, and hopefully we can, we can have a good time and earn some decent rewards together. Um, Ace says, welcome back. It's been almost three years. If you want to progress and get a better team, you should complete the academy because once you finish the academy, you get 80 plus player and Odegaard, guard. And that's exactly what I have done. Uh, I was, I was going through rivals and playing as many rivals games as possible. And that's what I'm doing here. Now, the reason I'm doing it here is because I was struggling in academy. We were, we had a 71 rated team and we needed to beat West Brom who had a 73 rated team. And we were already two nil down with the majority of the game to go, I found it so difficult to beat West Brom. And then this happens. In Rivals, there is such a pay-to-win element. It is un I say in Rivals, just the game in general is so pay-to-win. It is unreal. Now, I know the game is free. That's how they make their money. Makes sense that it's pay-to-win. I get it. I went into Rivals to try and unlock some skill boosts, unlocked a couple, changed a few of my players round, played people out of position just because they were higher rated, managed to almost cheat the system, if you will, and then played West Brom, beat them, just, it was a struggle, and I had to go to penalties, but then we were one game away from our elite player, against a team who was 72 rated, and now we are 74, like I said, I was I put Tammy Abraham as a centre mid instead of one of our bronzes, I put a, a right back or a left back in the centre mid instead of one of our silvers, we were 74 rated, and we were able to, to pick up the wins. And then we managed to unlock our elite player. I was hoping for a central midfield player to go alongside our new Odegaard when we unlock it. Because my attack is good enough. Kind of. Um, but we opened it up and it was an attacker. And it was Ocampos. I wasn't massively chuffed with this. Turns out he's actually a pretty good player. Um, I don't know whether I'm... Compa I'm just comparing him to the cards we've already got. So it kind of makes sense that he'd be a good card. But going into this game... Managed to beat them 4-2. The reason I've not showed you any of the gameplay, it's against the AI, and I didn't play the majority of it. Like I said, let my let the AI defend, which they did for the majority of the game, and every time we had an attack, I would take control. Once we got in and around the penalty area, at least, for me to be able to take the shot. We've unlocked uh, common shards, which I do understand, but I don't at the same time. It's going to allow us to, un to upgrade a player. Um, it, it, uh, there you go. So we've unlocked ranks. Ranks unlock. We've also unlocked the market, which I still can't access for some reason. And we've unlocked chemistry, which gives us an advantage now that we've we've got a boost. But we now we need to start linking players together. Before we didn't have to worry about that. Now we have these dotted lines. You can see that Odegaard links to a Campos because obviously they play in the same league. So we have eleven chemistry all together, which is awful um i played against someone in rivals earlier who had an 84 rated team and like 60 chemistry brilliant um or 50 chemistry or one or the other but either way yeah it was it was an absolute shocker i only lost 4-3 and he scored in the last second as well um wait walter rather said loved your series back in 2016 i used to play fifa mobile then uh, before i bought a console great memories and i hope you make more vids like i said i will be um this is the origin the reason i originally followed i appreciate you thank you very much and everyone else who has left a comment like that we will continue for as long as the interest is there it is going to be one hard long slog because this game is so pay to win, understandably so, that it is going to be very difficult once we go into division rivals. I need to learn the game more. Uh, skill boosts are my friend. I'm looking for them more than anything. I'm not going to put any money into it because that's cheating, essentially. And I want it to be as hard as possible. And there we go. That's the team going into the third episode. I don't really know what to do from here on in. Do we just grind rivals or do we do seasons or is this something else I should be doing? Feel free to let me know in, in the comments. Once we unlock the... Well, we unlock the market, but once I can go onto the market, I don't know whether I've got to wait for a certain date. I don't know whether I've got to close the game down and, and reopen it again. I don't know what was going on. But either way, once we get into the market, we'll start to flesh out the team a little bit. And then when should I upgrade players? Any of you who play the game and who know, when is the time to upgrade a player? I was told not to and just do the skill boosts. When is the time to pick a player and say, now I want to do upgrades? Do we wait until we get the likes of Odegaard and the higher rated cards and then upgrade those? Or do I pick players who are lower rated and upgrade those? I don't really know 
the etiquette, you know? So if you can help me out, that would be amazing. If you have enjoyed today's episode of the FIFA Mobile 21 Road to Glory, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for you, and until the next time, goodbye. Join the betting rebellion and find out what your football knowledge is really worth.